Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Pooja, your own physiology faculty at Cerebellum. And today we have Dr. Avirup over here who cracked the INICT May 2025 with a rank of 323. So congratulations, Dr. Avirup. Thank you so much, ma'am. Very warm welcome. And uh, tell me, um, how are you feeling right now after getting this rank? Uh, and to be honest, it's uh, difficult to express in words. I mean, getting a top five within a top 500 rank in a uh, central institution exam. I mean, everyone dreams about this, but to achieve this and then, I mean, I'm still in kind of a shock. <laughs> so take us through your success journey, uh, how you started preparing, when you started preparing. Were you a very sincere student during MBBS or you are a fun-loving student? <laughs> Ma'am, uh, to be very honest, I uh, I uh, I was kind of decent during MBBS. I would say I had my basics uh, in, uh, taken care of, but I wasn't really very much studious like that in the typical sense of the word. Like I was not studying eight to ten hours a day or something like that. But I knew what the uh, what is causing what, and I had the basics of the subjects. But after internship, and I had my, my personal notes made during uh, my MBBS only. But uh, during internship, as uh, I'm from Kolkata, so here the internship is very hectic, actually. So uh, I didn't really get a chance to study properly. And uh, my internship ended last year, May. So then I gave NEET PG and uh, I got a rank of 13.4K. So I was getting a clinical branch only, but uh, as I had not prepared properly, so I thought that I might, might be able to do better. And so I uh, decided to take a drop. And uh, then I took, after November INI, I think I took a mission program by Cerebellum. And I had BTR previously. So that's about it, ma'am. I didn't have any other subscriptions, actually. I, that's only Cerebellum. So how did you avoid the FOMO of resources? <laughs> I mean, somehow it never really uh, affected me that much. I knew people uh, around me were going after this and that, but... I knew that if uh, the content is the same, I mean, content is not the issue, right? Uh, the limiting factor is your own brain. I mean, uh, and how much you are able to apply that. So, uh, and I was quite happy with the faculties in Cerebellum. So I, st I just stuck with that. All right. So tell me uh, which resource you use, because we do have recorded lectures, we have quick revisions, we have mission classes, we have so many things for the question uh, preparation also. So which one uh, did you actually use? Ma'am, uh, initially I had BTR, as I said. So um, I had uh, done BTR quite a number of times. But after November and I, I realized that I have done BTR, like I know that forwards and backwards. So I just wanted to supplement it even further. So I uh, took uh, the mission subscription and I uh, saw the mission videos only. In, in, uh, sometimes I miss the live lecture, but I made sure to watch the recorded ones. Especially uh, my first year subjects were very weak, uh, anatomy, physiology. Especially, I mean, uh, you have done an excellent job of teaching that physiology. I mean, uh, 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 Previously, my physiology used to be really weak, but after that, actually, I secured rank six in the uh, phys physiology in the lab too. So that was a huge boost for me. And uh, yeah, so I watched the mission lectures only. I found that a little bit more extensive than uh, uh, the rapid divisions, but not as vast as the main videos. So that was kind of the perfect fit for me. All right. So a balanced content, you can say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ma and uh, what about the question practicing? Did you use any, uh, you used to give GTs, e, uh, e and e you mentioned already, right? What about yeah. GTs, late night PIVA cues that we have? Mm. Ma'am, those were a big help, I, I should say. Uh, like uh, teachers like Praveen sir, etc. They used to send texts in the Telegram groups, uh, literally forcing us to give those uh, late night PIVA cues and midday modules. And I, to be very honest, I actually never did solve a custom module. I, I mean, the midday modules in the first lab one, they used to be uh, made from questions from the Q bank only. So that was in a way a custom module in itself. So I used to do that regularly and also the late night PYQs, ma'am. And uh, yes, GTs, I uh, gave after November INICT, I started giving GTs. And I used to get this, actually, my GT scores used to be even higher than what I got this time around. But uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the first time we are hearing this story, but uh, I think you have done a good job, actually a good job. Thank you, ma'am. 
so uh, how did you manage so gt must uh, be help uh, helped you out uh, especially in the yeah. exam like ini where you require a time management skill uh, yes, to be the most important thing i would say yes ma'am especially uh, and the questions this time were quite tricky i mean uh, you had to think uh, and there were many questions where the options were i mean it could go both ways and you had to take your pick uh so yes gts did help and uh, cerebellum had two inict mocks first one was a li- little bit on the tougher side and that actually uh, did help to uh, mentally prepare yourself for a tough exam and uh, yes i think uh, what i did that helped for me was that i didn't really focus on my gte scores that uh, initially they were not as high but uh, so but i didn't uh, got demotivated or something like that i uh, just took it as an assessment tool rather than uh, you know so that helped and uh, i used to watch the i mean the uh, there was the video solutions in the last two gts they were really helpful i mean that helped me to review the gts in like within 3 uh, hours i used to watch them in 1.5 or 2x so yeah all right so tell me uh, everybody has that low point right at some times you feel stressed uh, you feel mm. like okay whether i'm doing good or not so at that time what do you used to do uh, i used to actually i'm a i used to take a break to be very honest i am a very big football fan so i used to watch some match or something like that take my mind off it and then come back again stronger that's it All right. So, uh, were there any support system like friends, families? Yeah, yeah definitely. Sisters? I mean, they uh, they they deserve a special mention. Obviously, I have a younger brother and uh, my parents as well, and my family. I have I have ex- my, my the amazing cousins, and I have been blessed with uh, like really good friends during my preparation. Even during internship, they I mean they deserve a mention. All right. So, uh, with this. Okay. Uh, what will be your uh, advice to your juniors or whomsoever watching or looking forward for this exam next time? Uh, ma'am, I would say as I N I is very heavily focused on the first and second years. So I would say if you if someone is targeting I N I, then I should say they must. I mean, it's not uh, an optional. They must have a very good and clear understanding of the uh, uh, pre and para clinical subjects, and. Uh, on and i think it a lot of it comes down to the exam day i mean uh, many of i mean everyone reads a lot but it what matters is how much you are able, able to apply on that day so i would say just give it uh, as chill as you can just think consider it as a gt don't take too much stress just make sure that what you know nothing goes wrong from there there will be atypical questions and all and you will miss those but just make sure you don't make a mistake which you have already read, in which you have already read. uh any special advice uh, for like let's say 15 in 15 days uh, we do have 15 to 20 days we have neat pg so what was your strategy and what will be your advice uh, to you know how to prepare in last 15 20 days ma'am i should say uh, one must stick with what they've already done not to do anything new or uh, overburden your their brain unnecessarily and uh, just to, in case they haven't done pyqs yet they should just Uh, please just get it done and uh, just keep revising and uh, and yes that can they can give the cerebellum gt the mock gt for but again not do not stress too much on the scores and just have faith in yourself all right so congratulations dr avirup and uh, what is your plan Thank ahead you. like uh, which subject you wanted to pursue uh, my uh, ma'am i am inclined towards the surgical branch a uh, general surgery to be very specific and so yeah now let's see what the counseling has in store all right so all the best for that right and enjoy this Thank moment you. to the fullest especially with your wonderful family members cousins and brothers right yes ma'am thank you thank you all the best for that